Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I'll be showing you a quick and easy way to reset your WordPress website. I mean, you will learn how to reset your WordPress website to the default settings, just like a brand new WordPress installation. Okay friends, sometimes you might have spent a lot of time redesigning or designing your website, but in the middle, you might have done something wrong. You just got messed up with your site and you just got a lot of pages, a lot of plugins installed, a lot of themes and you don't need any of this and you decided to reinstall your website but you don't need that. You can reset just and get back to the basic website, just fresh installation of your website. Okay, I will show you in this video training how you can do that. But before we do, let me show you, here I have a few number of pages, here you can see I have a lot of themes, here you can see on the media a library, I have a lot of images and files. And basically I don't need this, I want to reset my site. And on the database, here you can see a lot of tables that are not core tables okay uh, because of WooCommerce plugin we got these tables but I don't need this because I have decided my mind I won't work or install WooCommerce plugin in my site so in this situation we will just uh, delete all these database tables that are not related to WordPress core uh, system here you can see Catflow plugin installed several database tables, a lots of tables here. I will delete everything except the core tables. Here goes the core tables, WP links, WP options, post meta, and rest of the tables are unnecessary. This, these tables uh, were created by the plugins I installed. Okay, what I will do to get the job done, I will install this plugin. This guy is very suitable. Fantastic plugin, WP reset. And I will install this plugin to just clean my website. Okay. Again, go get back to the dashboard. And from the plugins, click on Add New. And here you can search for WP Reset. And friends, there is a warning. If you proceed this task, your data will be lost. So before proceeding, before installing this plugin or before deleting the files and database tables, you should keep a backup. You should keep a backup before proceeding or before uh, installing this plugin or just doing something ahead. Okay, just keep backup of your full site and hit install now. There will be no undo. Okay, it's a drastic process. Just hit activate. Okay, if you want or if you need, just keep backup. Okay, now here you can see we have installed the plugin and open WP Reset Tools. Just click on it. And here goes some smart tools and functionalities. Please read carefully before proceeding. What I said earlier, just keep backup. And here goes the comparison of what it offers in the free version and pro version. Okay, and if I scroll down, here you can see site reset and what would you like to do after resetting the site? Do you want to activate the current theme? At the moment, the extra theme is activated and would you like to again reactivate WP Reset plugin? I don't need this, uh, but you can just reset, uh, reactivate this plugin, sorry, this theme. And before we proceed, we can take a backup or create a snapshot. Snapshot means it will copy, create a copy of our site and if we need, it will restore again, okay? So, I'm going to proceed now and here you can see it says type reset. I'm going to type reset and, okay, sorry. I'm going to keep a snapshot. Just click here, create snapshot snapshot and you should give it a name 
I'm going to name it Imran Imu site. Okay, create snapshot. Snapshot created. Now, if you go over here on snapshot, here you will see Imran site. Snapshot is created and the size is 7.8 megabyte. Okay, let's get back to reset again and scroll down. This time we will reset the site. Click reset. Sorry, type reset and click reset site. And here it says again, are you sure you want to reset this site? Clicking reset WordPress site will reset your site to default values. Okay, we know that just reset wordpress it will take a few seconds or minutes okay here you can see it's amazing everything is gone okay and now let me show you the media nothing is here let me show you the pages nothing is here the default pages go to the themes Okay, it has the themes. Okay, I'll take care of them. And here you can see plugins. Okay, all the plugins are deactivated. Okay, now friends, let me check the database. I'm going to reload it. And here you can see, okay. No, the database tables are still available. I'll have to use some tools. But the basic cleanup is done. Okay. So what I'm going to do again, go activate this plugin and go to the tools. We have just done the basic reset. So we have nothing to do here. Now uh, navigate to tools and under tools, you can see we can reset the theme options. My current theme is uh, might have options, customize options. We can reset that. And we can uh, delete transcends, parse cache, delete local data. We can just using the free version, this features. Okay, then right now, reset theme option, reset, theme options, reset it. You can also create snapshot. And here you can see parse cache, parse cache. Everything is fast. Local data, delete local data okay and delete theme delete all the themes okay delete all the themes i don't need them but make sure you keep backup eight themes have been deleted okay now i'm gonna check it again here no theme is activated okay so how it looks it looks pretty horrible so click here, go to popular, install this guy. Okay friends, I hope you are going to enjoy this video. And what I'm going to next, next I'm going to reset the database and delete plugins. Yes, delete plugins. Deleting plugins, please wait. Nine plugins have been deleted and here you can see scroll down scroll down delete .htaccess file no we don't need that and here you can see okay once again snapshot collections we don't need that and again go to data tools and here you can see uh, delete plugins after delete plugins uh, here it is empty or delete custom tables there might be some tables and would you like to delete here you can see drop or delete custom tables okay just custom tables well, now I'm gonna reload here might be there might be a cache okay 
there might be a cache because of that sorry sorry this is not the site i'm going to launch my okay i'm going to show it again well friends what i was talking about deleting custom tables and actually i just changed the prefix of the table and because of that i could not uh, delete it but if your table prefix is still wp then you can delete the tables of the your database okay but overall i could just uh, delete the pages delete the media files and the site is still uh, just a brand new website okay using that plugin wp reset i could easily reset the wordpress website i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel hope to catch you in the next video thank you for watching